So, I was sitting there and drinking my totally it's tea and my kids were in the background saying something about food or food stamps or hunger. And I was on one of those occasions where I wasn't going out and getting milk and cigarettes and I was at my computer thinking, you know, FOMO, boy, that's an interesting concept, isn't it? Like, there'd be no company that would ever use something as evil and vile as FOMO. And I figured out what I would put on my resume if I was potentially going to be hired in the, the big top end of Games Workshop. And it was just FOMO. The word F-O-M-O, -O, FOMO. And uh, in that regard, I'm going to explain this truly vile idea. Why well, ignore the pleas in the background for, you know, sustenance or whatever. I'm sure there's some plastic they can have somewhere around there, but that's not important. We need to talk, don't we? So, I had this horrendously evil thought when I was looking at people talking about true scaling Primaris. I was like, oh, the foundation is being laid for the eventual upgrade from Primaris when they're too small. Isn't that wonderful, kids? We already have people true scaling away. And I was sitting there going, man, you know what would be really scummy? Is if somebody did the exact same thing, which is the only sales pitch that the Primaris have as a concept, and it's what I would refer to as inbiggening, upscaling, whatever you want to call it. And this sales pitch goes along the lines of this. <clears throat> Imagine for just a second, <clears throat> that I had a job at GW and they told me we, we got to double sales and it's got to be doubled by next year. And I was sitting there and I was like, what's the easiest thing to do? Well, we've already put out 20 kits of the same primaries in the same pose with different weapon options and the, the nerf launcher uh, marine version of them just didn't do that well because it's nerf or nothing and we might get sued and well, you know, why bother with that? Why not do something devious, evil, and altogether cruel to your customer base that would get new players and old players to purchase it? And that is very simple. What if we just took every mark of Power Armored Space Marine and we scaled it to the exact same height of the Primaris? So year one of my tenure of true and total evil would be Mark II in tact a tactical box with all the fixings, a, a devastator box, and an assault box, all in Mark II with all of the options. Hell, we'll even do the part where you can have the torso twist Oh my, we are definitely going retro, ladies and gentlemen. And then the year after that, Mark III. Then the year after that, Mark IV. On now, keep in mind, that would only be a tactical box, a devastator box, and an assault marine box. And you go all the way up to Mark VII. And dare I say it, I think this horrendously evil and cruel idea and altogether not very nice thing to do to sell to people would... Uh, probably do some of the more outrageous sales we'd be back to the days of the tactical squad outside selling the entire line of warhammer fantasy people remember that i do pepperidge farm probably also remembers but then they try to sell you a jam so that's not the important part the important part is we could even go hey you know, that's a pretty risky idea you got there, Mr. Nobody, and your name's Mr. Nobody, and people call you Nobody, so if there's something referring to you, it's a terrible way of addressing you, and I'd say I don't care. But the more important thing is, well, that sounds like a risk, and the people at Games Workshop's top line aren't exactly the most concerned about, you know, anything but money kind of people, and I would say it's really simple. We'll catfish the audience very simply by getting a legion of the dam box out it's just a tactical marine box it has some of them legion of the dam like uh, little extra rules on top but it's got the it's just the classic 
Mark 7 and 6 mix that they had, no Primaris anything, just upscaled to the exact same height as Primaris. But you get all of the old tactical uh, options. You get the bolters, you get the flamers, the plasma rifles, on and on and on with a heavy weapon, of course. And we'd use that as our air quote test run, aka something that I know would immediately sell out and be sold to pretty much any and every marine player no matter what faction they play. So I don't even have to try. I don't even have to be inventive. I don't even have to bring up something new. I just go, let's take an old thing and make it bigger. <sighs> the entire argument, again, for Primaris being that they're tall. So in reverse, taking that whole concept and strategy... If I was going to be a truly vile and evil human being on the, the levels of probably a, a lesser antichrist, that's exactly what I would do right here, is I'd just take this, this whole concept, and you could write it out for several years, hell, probably eight, nine, depending on how absolutely vicious you want to be with the concept, and I think it's an interesting thing, and it shines a bit of a light on something I've complained about multiple times when I've made, well, arguments that people should get better quality for what they're spending. And it's that this kind of sales tactic is vile. It's not an, a good sales tactic, and it will screw people over. The only difference is, is that effectively i would be producing the same three kits over and over again so there would be no actual statistical difference between any of them they'd just be in different looks effectively uh you know one's in a tie-dye shirt and the other one's all dressed up kind of thing and that's where i think it comes into where the abusiveness of the primaris the fact that they are effectively an unmooring of any degree of restriction because even with my horrible tactic of make thing bigger and sell um it is not on the level of hey let's make 23 new units of guys who are going to have to be eventually stormcast eternaled out of existence so that we can reuse the idea as opposed to the concept of simply going hey um which version of these guys do you like the look of maybe you want to mix and match them a little bit you never know you might want to get a little crazy <clears throat> But that's an interesting concept when you really sit down and think about it. Because here's something that just from looking at some things where people were trying to true scale Primaris, which is absolutely boggling to the mind. And the fact that every argument I have ever encountered for them being a good thing is they are big. Um, can be applied to some really odious ways of doing business and I'm sure I would get years and years of bonuses. I would be probably fondly remembered by, um, hell, the customers. Because I would not be openly as evil to their face, but I would just resell the same product to them over and over again. Which used to be Games Workshop's uh, modus operandi. Remember, they're having to buy, uh, build a new f production facility and new facilities to store things. Because they are producing new models at such a rate that they're having to now go back to models that have only been out for a year, two years, six months in some cases, and simply wipe them out of existence. The only difference between what they're doing now and mine is that I would have every incentive in there for them to keep the tactical, the devastator, and the assault marines around as long as possible. Hell, if we wanted to even go cheaper than them doing a Legion of the Damned or that, just make space marine captains or lieutenants or whatever that are in older marks of armor at the Primaris scale, they'll make a ton off them just from kit bashing alone and for people who don't like the look of the newer stuff. So 
Thank you for joining me on this little tangent, and um, let me know which ring of hell do you think I'm going to burn on. Is it going to be uh, Lake, the lake? I'm kind of going for the lake myself. I always wanted to live near a frozen lake, so, you know, let's hope I get that one in hell. And let me know what you think. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.